Kind of need the high quality going. <laughs> and to join the uh, general chat on Discord. So, high quality's going. This is a uh, Bless Online. It just uh, officially released what this past week it was in uh early access before and uh i know in south korea it stated it was launched in 2016 so i don't know if that's because of again early access or whatnot but that's what uh was stated we're going to be starting from the very beginning of uh this said game here the new character i just sort of played a little bit of it with another friend and uh yeah it was uh pretty interesting in some ways Oh, if you're on the server, you can only be the same faction that you started as. Okay. Next thing. Yeah. I think this time I'm going to go with an elf. Yeah. At least on this side, you've got the... F yeah. Habits. I, I, I guess guessing how you kind of say it. <laughs> Habits, which is basically humans, I'm guessing. Yeah. Sy Sylvan elves. Lupus, uh, dog, werewolf kind of race, and, uh, Mascus, which is, a, a tiny kind of race in a lot of these MMOs. And depending on the race you have, it depends on the, uh, different uh, actual, uh, classes that you can be. Actually, again, not too explain. I don't know if there's different races under Union, but looking under Union, it looks like they're pretty much the same, but, you know, just, the uh, opposite sides of the factions. I'll figure that out later and, uh, when I go more in-depth into the game with uh, my own little review I'm going to be doing in about a week's time. This, but I think I'm going to work with uh, an good elf. Pet. Say good pet. Good pet. He did say good pet. Uh, that's funny. Alright. Now let's go to customize. This is very highly customizable. You could say in a way it's kind of like how Black Desert is. You get to do a lot of You can go even more in depth later on. I'm not going to spend too much time on here. Then we want to kind of just get on in. Did it make your face smaller suddenly? That was kind of strange, but okay. Let's see if you right click, you can turn your character around. Come on, it's not letting me. Ah, okay. Move it around and such. <laughs> <clears throat> now. Oh, shush, yo. Oh, this is a uh, different head presets also? No, it's not. Just the hair. Oh, uh, looks kind of weird with that under there. Good enough, I guess. Uh, hair color. You can't change the hair size like you can in uh, Black Desert, though. Alright. Good enough. Face itself. Yeah, yeah. Make her real like Sylvanas. <laughs> I had to change your hair color again, but no. All right, quite a few uh, different choices you can have with it. Can okay, nose positions and such and ears. This is where you can go really more in depth if you don't want to do it just from uh, going around here because you can change uh, the generics and whatnot. Makeup, different sets of uh, makeup eyelashes pick from. Gonna leave the lenses alone. Other than uh, actually, eyes themselves, I'll change color. Um, come on. That's supposed to be the lens color. I have to change the iris color. I can't have them closer. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Strange to say the least. I'm trying to specifically change the lenses. Oh, whoops. And it doesn't seem to do it. Well, that's kind of no good. 
If you want to change their eye color. Unless it means the outside. I guess it means the outside then. I don't have anything to change here. Eyeliner, eyeshadow. What about eyes itself? All right. So that's a no. It looks like. Which I find strange. You should be to change the uh, iris color itself. Well, not the iris, you know. The primary lens inside, I guess. They don't have that. This is under here. No, that's the hair. Would be under makeup. All right. So that's a no. Here's the thickness. Okay. <laughs> Do you say so? All right. We don't have makeup now. Decorations. Sliders is just all the sliders all together. It just kind of irks me. Oh, there we go. That's got to be it right there. I. There we go. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, that's showing what the original was. Maybe you can do multi colors with that. That actually kind of would be cool, I would think. Oh, these are the different voices, so name. Prism. Uh, I forgot to hit the R. Messes the whole thing up there now, doesn't it? One day, the Regent will know the pain we have all suffered. Huh. <laughs> Actually, this is not too bad. The, for the Tree character. of Life? I can bring you there. I don't know what Savage Fighters is. That's what my other don't one is. Don't get in my way. I think. Don't you want to change the world? I'll go first. You. You are trying to lecture an elf. Sounds good to me. Sure. Luffy outfit. All right. Get this going. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll start with the basic guide. Sub 60 just for this tiny spot alone. I'm gonna get into that in a little bit in the stream <coughs> About how the performance is in here Press space key to jump Speak with Oliver at the Knowledge Academy Yes, this is uh, where you're going to be Shown basic skills and they have combos and such with each skills that you can do together. We can do it in the uh, skill section in just a bit. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna open my inventory and eat that piece of bread, which is I. Next K skill open the tactics window, place mixed elements tactic combat stance. Gotta be here, right? Yeah, mixed elements tactics. I'll 
to equip that. Where will you let me put it? I hit equip there. That's right, you gotta hit tilde in order to uh, swap between the stances that you actually have equipped. It looks like you only allowed two at a time. Elemental release in the empty slot. But the non scale? Yeah, this one. Change, okay. So, with that in it, training target. Select training scarecrow as a target. Press the one key. Action used. Magic bolt chain start skill. You hit one. You hit R. You hit it again. There you go. Chain skills complete. And now hit tilde. Switch. Just one. Ice flame chain start skill. These don't take time to actually charge to use. Consume magic use for the four. Defeat lesser demon in the Knowledge Academy. Just after this, uh, we'll be fighting the main into the main area. That's two anyway. Kindle. Targeting skills affect the distance cost. The fire element 100 obtained. Deals 21 damage to the enemy, inflicting the burn effect. Oops. Any movement skills to get out of the way? You can't use that. Let's hope to get some sort of dodge. Double S forward will allow you to uh, charge. Around. Oh, I forgot to pick up the item. Uh, same as uh, talk with people. F. Eat the bigger demon guy. This is when you get your face beat down. Supposed to hit revive inside. Yep, and he talks to this little creepy, evil looking guy. You're surprised, aren't you? Fear not. I'm a Tavarian. This is what we really are. I, I am a Daden. Yes, only you can see our original appearance. We're, we believe in providence. We're not allowed to directly intervene in this world. That is the reason of our disappearing act. Other people can see us unless we, other people can't see us unless we are, we show ourselves like now. But you, you can see us when you die, Anna Tavarian. Yes, when you die, you will be ready for soul capture, resur capturer, resurrection. And you will go straight to the nearest Daden amongst us. Talk with us and you will resurrect from your death. And tutorial's over. And go to the main area. <clears throat> right through the gate. And there we go. Each uh, starting race actually has a different starting area. I, I definitely found out about that. Oh my. <laughs> That's an evil looking deer. Look at that thing. 
the corrupted beasts live <laughs> in terrible pain. Mm. It's Do all they now? Happening because we failed to protect the tree of life. Well, you should have done a better job. And that's why we have to accept responsibility as well. What the hell? <laughs> oh, look, more orcs. Okay, Legolas. A Legolas? Whichever you want to say it. Orcs, why are they here? I brought them. That's why. The prick sensed my presence. Are you okay? The orcs even got inside the forest. It seems the energy in the tree of life has been weakened. Well, you shouldn't have let it fall. <laughs> Just that's what I said before. The tree of life began to wither a thousand years ago. It's no wonder that the arboreal protection of the sanctity has been weakened. It can't even cope with orcs now. Well, even the stupidest soldiers would know they'd be dead the moment they stepped into the forest. Hmm. Perhaps this orc lost his way and traveled into the forest by chance. Anyway, you should purify the corpse with fire. Okay. An evil corpse cannot remain inside the forest of life. The corpse must be burned and laid in ashes, so it cannot exert a negative influence. Okay. I go up to it and I'm just gonna hit F. And then I'm gonna go after the little deer, right? Now what? Suddenly the orcs appeared and the plan went wrong. <laughs> For the time being, we must step up our security and patrols. First, let's finish our other missions. Then we can return. You don't even know me. <clears throat> You're acting like we've been friends or colleagues at least for a while. It's killing the poor tormented beasts. Yep. This forest is dying along with the tree of life. Nothing but death will <sighs> save the beasts born here. <laughs> yeah, we gotta kill these little guys, right? How many of them do I have to kill? Four guys. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. I should use that skill first. I really should remember to do that. Alright. You next. Yeah. 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 Please select a valid target. Yes. I should see if I can disable that because I can imagine that getting annoying if I accidentally uh, do it when something yeah. like that. There's no one on this. Okay. So that has two skills. Hi, little foxy. You can't use that. Not in range. Yep. All right. I gotta talk to her again. Uh, yep. Good work. After the doomsday, all of the creatures in the forest suffered excruciating pain. I hope they will rest in peace. I'm actually getting the ring sub of providence. 60 FPS in this already. Now I got nothing really in this area. Now that you've finished with the mission, come back to the patrol headquarters. If Ursula, leader of the patrol, asks you about me, tell her I have something to finish. Sure. If the tree of life hadn't been wounded. <laughs> FedEx the quest. All right. This is the iron protected zone. All right. So, oh yeah, this is where I can exit out without a problem. So what? Come on, don't give me that. Oh, I just realized when you're fighting as like a my berserker, I have it's an action uh, combat type mode. As the caster, it's more, you know, generic MMO. <clears throat> Move around, selection, and such. Oh, they're up there. If you want to find out where you want need to go, you can always just click this, and it'll auto-take you, like in the uh, Black Desert. It's a nice option if you got to go AFK or something, but you might find yourself dead if you run through enemies. <laughs> ah, you're back. It took a long time for you to carry out your first mission. 
By the way, why did you return without Tanara? So I guess these people supposedly know me. Okay, but we're... Well, I guess the tutorial event isn't a main part of the quest or whatever. You just already are known then. Okay. One last thing. Looks like an intruder has gotten into the forest again. These days, most of the forest cannot be viewed as ours anymore. Anyway, I'll deal with it. You should go back and take some rest. Um, thank you. <laughs> oh, and sooner or later, a new successor is to be chosen to enter the Sanctum of Life. All Cillans of your age will be eligible. If you want more details, ask Tanara when she's back. Sanctum, the chosen to enter the Sanctum of Life. Okay, so that will be, I'm guessing, where the tree is. We will soon select a new successor. You yeah, are one of yeah. the candidates. Tanara's disciple. I expect a lot from you. <sighs> Yay! I hope I don't disappoint. Welcome back. I have something to tell you. I heard the Sanctum of Life is in the process of choosing a successor. Then you want me to do it. It would be a great honor for you to be chosen as the successor of the Sanctum. tired as hell. It is their role to protect the Tree of Life, the mother of all of us. You may find you are more qualified than you think. Try facing the trial for it. Yeah, she's just she Worried? looks tired as hell. I suppose you should be. <laughs> I can hardly understand your fears as I was born before the doomsday. But if you make up your mind, go to Baron and try taking the trial. I hope they actually go more into this doomsday thing so you uh, know what's going on. Of course, you have the freedom to try or not. However, I hope you will become the successor and protect the Tree of Life. It will not be easy to find one suitable amongst the Sillin. Yeah, I actually have this on, you know, the ma I think the max settings of 5. I'm on a 1070 and a, a uh, Ryzen 1700X. All cores boosted to the maximum of 3.8. And yeah, even with the i7 16 gigs, I... Honestly, I think I know the exact reason for this. This is on an older game engine. This is actually on Unreal 3. <clears throat> and if you played through, like, say, Mass Effect or Mir the original Mirror's Edge, or even, like, Terra Online, they all use the Unreal 3 engine, and that thing was not made to be uh, the best quality engine in the entire world. There's uh, a lot of issues you get with, like, frame rates, especially... If it's being used for like an MMO, it's very un unfortunate they went with this. I mean, this came out, started coming out or whatever, two years ago. So even then, I mean, come on, uh, Writers of Icarus, I believe, uses Unreal 4. And that plays a lot smoother in general. Are you a new patrolman? What brings you to the tower? I mean, if you look at the textures and things like that, they're not even the highest quality or anything either. Uh, again, Unreal 3 engine. Oh, I suppose you'd like to become a successor of the Sanctum. Nice to meet you. I'm Baron, the first gateway keeper. Is there some kind of a big thing to do? <laughs> yeah, I... I don't get it why it would still be used. <clears throat> it makes no sense. I, I mean, I was looking through the eye and eyes. They're not taking their lesson. Uh, At the first no, case, I don't think they understand we'll or trial, are thinking on it. knowledge about our past. Because you don't share the knowledge and memory of the Tree of Life, this trial will test you to see if you know enough about our past before taking on a great mission. I mean, uh, Riders of Icarus is a South Korean MMO too, isn't it? That, like I said, that uses uh, Unreal 4 and at least DirectX 11. And I was going through the INIs yesterday, and I was looking through it all and things like that to see where I can try to change a couple things. Like, you can't do ultra widescreen in this game uh, unless you're in windowed mode. And uh, if you're in full screen mode, you're locked to 16 by 9, 16 by 10, and 4 by 3. I don't understand why they include 4 by 3, but you know, I guess you know options are always nice, but they don't have uh, 21 by 9. For selections and uh they have in the i and i directx 11 enabled it's like yes it's like that doesn't do anything it doesn't enable directx 11 or whatnot i test 
that I double checked everything using Reva Tuner to see if possibly something was enabled for it. And of course, it loads up and says D3D9 when showing the frames per second. So here's your sign, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> it's just, it's, it's not going to be well played for a lot of people, especially even, you know, on, again, weaker type systems and whatnot. It just won't be a good experience. Listen to what I say, then answer my question. Tell me when you're ready to take the test. Ah, uh, yes. And cinema. <laughs> After the tree of life burned, the elves lost eternal life. Afterwards, the Sillens like you were born. Some of us could not accept such a fate. And so they did something forbidden. The great protector intervened to stop them. And there was a great battle. Those who had broken the sacred laws were expelled. But the great protector blamed herself for the tragedy. In the end, she resigned as great protector leaving her broken bow behind. <laughs> as soon as they stated, they lost, the Eternal Tree was destroyed and uh, they lost their immortality. Warcraft 3 popped into my mind because, you know, that's what happened when um, uh, Norgesil was destroyed. The uh, Night Elves lost their uh, uh, immortality and such. I'm like, huh. <laughs> That had to have been t at least inspired by, you know, you know, Blizzard from Warcraft and whatnot. It's like, really? I gotta talk to the dude again. <sighs> come on, come on. The day the flame of the <laughs> evil dragon swept the Tree of Life is called the Doomsday. After that day, no more eternal elves were born. Only short-lived Sillins like you. Yeah, right? It's like, poor elves, they can't uh, seem to catch a break with their immortality. They all just gotta lose it at some point in time, and the tree seems to be the, uh, cause of it all. I ask just one question of those who would wish to be a successor. What do you think is the difference between Sillins and eternally living elves? There is no difference. Get with the times. That's right. Are we elves superior to human beings or lupuses? Speaking about superiority between brothers born of the same tree of life is the most arrogant idea of all. We were all born of the tree of life. Even though you Sillins won't live for eternity, you are not inferior to us. Compare the bonfire and the star. The bonfire may burn out far faster than the star, but it also warms at nighttime and can spread its flame. You finished the trial of the first gate. Now, go on to Patrick, the second gateway keeper. I want you to remember your answer. Keep it close to you. Sure. You say so, dude. Talk to you. Now where do I go? We will soon select a new uh, successor. Okay. So he's uh, quite a bit farther out. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a mage. This character is. I had a character I started as a Zerker for trying out the game uh, a few days ago. But uh, this is going to be my character that I'm probably going to be streaming with. I'll probably swap between both. Okay, yeah, I'm going down to the 57, 58 on FPS. In towns, especially with people, that's where you're going to see the most egregious down to probably like 15. Like, uh, again, like Terra. Thirty three. Wow, I went down to thirty three just twirling around like that. <laughs> All right, where's the next person I need to talk to?
I haven't looked at the reviews. What are other people actually saying about it? I noticed that on Steam it's only got like a mediocre rating now. Already. Nice to meet you. I'm Patrick, the second gateway keeper. The second trial shouldn't be difficult for you, so you need not be nervous about it. Here, you will experience your life after you become the successor. Have you heard of the fire of Ventus, the flame dragon? The flames still flicker in the tree of life even now. They have burned for a thousand years. I will give you the holy water that helps to control this blaze. The successors help to control the fire for their whole life. The job will continue until the fire is quenched and the tree of life is free of its flames. We'd like to see if you are ready to join this fight. <laughs> that actually seems like a really dull game if I'm going to end up doing that the entire time as an elf. Just running around trying to knock out fires in this big ass tree. <laughs> Please tell me when you are ready to face this trial. Then I will hand over this holy water to you. Use the holy water to cool the flames of Ventus, the flame dragon, which have spread across the ground. So, was it just me or did he suddenly get like half an inch shorter than sprouted back up? That was weird. Alright. Use the holy water to cool the flames of Ventus, the flame dragon, which have spread across the ground. Oh, okay. When you are finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back to you. I gotta go in here and F. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, gee. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd have to agree. I have to do like playing WoW and stuff. It could be real pain if you uh want to level up. I'd like to get in and try some more of um. Some uh, battle for Azeroth, but I don't think I will be able to be hitting this expansion. I love the fact that next patch is finally supposed to not just have a, you know, expand more into DirectX 12 and uh, be able to use uh, multi cores a lot better for the engine. And that's actually, again, one of the gripes I'd have for, like, say, this game is at the very least, it should be DirectX 11, a full DirectX 11 game and such. And of course, it's not. And. Performance is the biggest problem I'd have, but what I've seen of storyline in here itself, I actually kind of like it. I like the way the combat feels and whatnot as well. It's just, ugh. Optimization's horrible. You've done well. How did you feel? <laughs> it's still hot. <laughs> as you see, the flames of Ventu still flicker in the Tree of Life even now. They have burned a thousand years. The fire has burned so hot for such a long time. You can understand how the doomsday is burned so heavily into our memory. Thousand years, damn. Yeah, I like the fact that this is uh, voiced out and whatnot. This is nice. I mean, everything in WoW is still primarily all text, right? You gotta read it. That seems like a question you should ask yourself. Not an answer I should give to you. How is it? Are you ready to work like this? That's good. And now, <laughs> please go to the third gateway keeper in the Sanctum of Life. I hope you will pass the last gateway safely. Okay then. <laughs> There's an archer. Wow, the frame stutter I'm getting on this is bad. <laughs> Those little dumpings a deer. I was gonna say it sounded like a whelpling dragon from World of Warcraft. <laughs> I'm Elaine, the successor of Lilianthes and the last Gateway Keeper. I'm so glad to finally see another soul. By the way, did you study under Tanara? I'm uh, glad to finally see another soul. And she's like, I wanted you to get the hell out of here. You have a similar manner to her. Perhaps she told me about you. 
She said that one would come who would be her successor. But I'd like to see for myself. Be her successor? So she doesn't want me to be a keeper. I am going to test your ability to control your own mind. So that we don't repeat the mistakes that several elves have made in the past. Tell me, are you ready for the test? Sure. Now I will withdraw the darkness from the depths of your mind. In order to be her successor, you must be able to look straight into your inner darkness and conquer it. Now you will face a side of yourself that is unknown even to you. No, I gotta beat myself up. What's yours? Yeah. Please select a valid target. Oh. More than one, huh? Alright. Is that it? Nope. Arrogance. But Back you the same one twice. Is that finally it? Yep. Thank okay, then. You. How are you feeling having faced your inner darkness? I'm relieved to hear that. Now you have passed all of the tests. And now you can meet Lilianthes, the tree of life. Alright. Pass the gatekeeper and enter the eternal haven. I'll be waiting for you there. Right. Go. Oh. Ha! <laughs> they just talked to you the dude. You must be the one who was selected to be a successor to Elaine. Greetings. I am Garion, the Sanctum Gatekeeper. I'll help you go in and out of the Sanctum from now on. Of course, a mother wouldn't stop her children. Just tell me that you'll go down there whenever you can. Yep. Sure. I realized they had like a art image of the tree. Like for wherever you're going. And this is when we find a bunch of orcs down here, right? They've been uh, keeping the flames alive for a thousand years. Hello, I'm Evan, the gatekeeper here. Elaine is waiting for you beside the tree of life. Keep going straight down this way and you'll see her. It's actually coming off and sounding like uh, they want you to just be here the entire time, like those keepers in the. Uh, uh, what was the series? Uh, the Shannara Chronicles. You've hey, been through a lot of trouble coming up here. I believe you will surely be a great successor. Now I'll be able to return to the breast of Lilianthes. <laughs> right. As a Sillin, I arrived at the end of my lifespan long ago. But I couldn't leave the place of the successor empty. So I have remained in this world against my will. Please, follow me to care for the tree of life. Lilianthes. Please take this robe. Now that you are formally appointed as the successor of the Sanctum, please make sure that Sillins will continue to be born. Okay, I say. Uh, sure. We Sillins have a limited lifespan. So we need to pass our duties to the next generation before our time is up. Lilianthes, the life you granted me is now over. Now I'll pass on my duty as successor and return to your side. All right, I am now level three Put on these said robes. Elaine seemed calm. 
I suppose it's merely a return to our mother. Death may not be as dreadful as I imagine. I'm sorry to greet you so late. I am Taylene, the successor of Lilianthes. From now on, I will teach you anything you require as successor. Hmm. Okay. You have time on your side. You will not have to take on the full burden of the role yet. So, why don't you meet everyone else beforehand? When your succession begins, it will be difficult for you to meet anyone. <laughs> it's like getting uh, all your socializing now because once uh, you're dealing with the tree, it's going to suck. You're going to see no one. Tanara also wondered about you. I told her a little, but she would be pleased to meet you face to face. I think she may have finished her patrol and returned to El Gratis by now. Okay. So let's head on back out. Do you wish to visit the Sanctum of Life? Yeah. Let's get back there. I love the look of this dragon. I hope this is something you actually kill in the game. <clears throat> I'm sure this is like a raid boss or something. This is the Hyrn Protected Zone. Actually, where am I compared to... Uh... Oh, come on, open up the map. Oh, wow. The uh, Zerker human I started is like over here by Turtle Lake. The completely opposite side of the map. Alright. Ah, that's cool. <coughs> Knowing that everybody does start in like completely opposite areas and whatnot. I know the uh, Lycans is in the uh, northern, most northern east section out of it all. just your argument human huh. the emperor plotting against the elves is there any reason for him to do such a thing ah uh, that sounds mean why my name is not human it's matthias hobbit were you as lazy as this on doomsday i watched the grantes is sneaking into this forest how's the pve content uh, PvE content seems to be alright. I mean, I haven't gone too far. The max level character I have, the Zerker's uh, level 4. So, <clears throat> I gotta get farther in. I'm planning on doing, playing this game quite a bit for like a week or so, then putting out my own little video on uh, how uh, I feel the game actually is. How dare you suggest that the Doomsday... <sighs> if you wish to ask me a favor, you'd better treat me with more respect. Anyway... It seems I have no more words for you. Yeah, it'll be put around to YouTube. Uh, the Riaya is also the general name I have on there as well. I already bumped into this guy as a human. So, hey, how's it going, Jin? This, this, oh, this guy actually gets around a bit. <laughs> I don't, I'm trying to think, did I, I meet him first? Did, he, did the elves meet him first and he returns or did... Uh, I'm thinking he's over at the human place first, then he comes here. But uh, I'll have to look and see how it actually plays through. So that's actually awesome that these guys are going around. You already see that they're going uh, together in the story and whatnot. These rogues indicate you have become the successor. My teachings have not been in vain. Elaine will rest in peace now. Yes, she got the hell out of there. <laughs> she got the hell out of Dodge. The human makes such an argument, but it's nonsense for us to get involved in these petty power struggles. We don't have to listen to him any longer. Escort <laughs> him to the exit. Go ahead, lurk away. That's what I do if I am um, able to. If I was doing video editing, I got both my monitors being used. <sighs> you have to come with me, dude. 
That elf wouldn't listen. Why is everybody only telling me to talk to that elf? <laughs> is she the queen of El Gratis or something? Don't you know, Tanara is a member of the Broken Bow Patrol. <laughs> it's like you're scraping from the bottom of the barrel. That's something like a soldier in human terms, correct? But if she is just a soldier, how does she command such authority? Both she and the other elves seem to take it as a given. Bless the mark. No, the storyline is not the same for all races. You still have different starting areas and things like that. Uh... They wouldn't accept that the Emperor could be plotting against El Gratis. It seems futile to keep pushing. We'd better go back. I right, once I'm done uh, uh, taking him Let's leave out. Then. There's nothing much we can do right now. I'll uh, show you the map. <clears throat> like here, I'm starting in the north western section. Tanara refuses to believe it, but the Emperor is after the Tree of Life. Ah, oh, come on. The humans start in the eastern section, and the lichens are in the northeast. So I don't the know. The Prince, the man I serve isn't trying to use sylvan elves but to help them the other race i don't know where they start at the emperor will attack this area soon preparations have to be made before that but i'm guessing she doesn't want to believe me i'm guessing that i've got the paths will converge though seeing that this guy is I in both areas like this. i'll try to persuade tenara one more time for the sake of the elves, your people. <laughs> Is this dude just walked in a big circle? <laughs> I'm supposed to escort him out, and he just meanders around the tree and goes back. Really? <laughs> It seems the man called Matthias has not yet returned. He seemed keen to talk to you about something. What did he tell you? The dude's standing to your left, and you said he didn't return. Are you blind? Even if the Emperor is plotting something as that man said, we cannot act without definite proof. That's not how we elves work. <laughs> oh. My head hurts. <laughs> El Gratis is hardly the Millennium Kingdom it once was. On the other hand, the Empire's powerful strength rivals that of the Lumen. We must deal with them carefully. Did... Did Tanara perhaps change her mind? <laughs> I love... It's not, it's not just from this one, obviously. It's like from all MMOs. It's like, did she change her mind? It's like, you're standing right next to her. And you're asking if she changed her mind. You should have been able to handle, hear the conversation. And you know, should know it. It should flow a little more smoothly than this in like MMOs. It's like, come on, dude. It seems she's not going to change her mind at all. We don't have much time. But this obstinacy is a big problem. Better find another way before it's too late. All right, I gotta talk to you again. What is this? Oh, okay. Hearthstone. Got it. That's the robes I had on before, so I haven't got anything better. Is that teeth? No. It is a tooth. <laughs> Never mind. There is something I want to ask you. As a favor. It's the only way to prove what the Emperor is scheming. Yeah, sure, so you want me to be uh, complicit in your plots. All right. Meet Berner, my subordinate. Then you'll know the Grandeza's scheme. See the truth for yourself and inform Tanara. All right. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Age Tongue. I need to make my OBS a little bit bigger so when that thing pops up, I can read the names a little. Oh, it says it right here also, of course, in the chat. So what am I babbling about? <laughs> 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 
You're right, I do have to get those set up. I gotta look at it, it's just like when I'm not like streaming and whatnot, it's just other things I'm doing, I'm exhausted, and I've been tired. So, okay. I need to go over that way. Yeah. The dude with the shiny <laughs> over his head. I love the fact that these guys literally have like a big ass pillar over their head so you know exactly where you need to go. What would the successor of Liliantis want with me? Oh, I see. Matthias didn't turn up. I knew something had gone wrong. Maybe he sent for you instead because of the Grandezas. I'm so relieved. The password is Crow and Fountain. I just hope you aren't too late. All right. It's a password that spies from the Grandezas use to identify each other. If you use this password, the Grandezas will think you're one of their agents. If you make it inside, they will disclose the Grandezas' plan to you. The Grandezas are just outside. It looks like they will be taking action soon. Hurry! And on the off chance that you're considering it, don't try to fight against the Grandezas. They have survived even the purges of His Royal Majesty, the former Emperor. You'd be better reporting straight back to us than taking needless risks. All right, so don't go talk to them because they'll kick your ass. Equipment dismantling machine. Does that mean I can disenchant my items? Oh, wow. See that? Jeez. That stutter. Is this outside or inside? It looks like it's outside. It's a whelpling. The fairy dragon. That's cute. Don't try taking on the Grandeza, but go up and talk to the Grandeza. Okay. El Gratis always has good weather. It's this forest. This is where Providence arrives first in spring and leaves last come winter. A perfect place. So, what brought you here? A crow and a fountain. Did you make sure nobody followed you? Mm. If only you'd come a little earlier, I could have made you do so many things. <laughs> what a shame. The orcs who will enter the Sanctum of Life have finished their preparations already. So all you have to do is watch the Sanctum burn. All right, so this explains why in the human encampment, we've suddenly had all the orcs everywhere. They're trying to keep the human I was talking to before and all of them from uh, being able to interfere here. Which is kind of cool because if you play more than one side, you get to understand how the whole story, I guess, is uh, going to come together or start to come together. But other than that, the human area, I don't know uh, where it goes from there because that's the only part I've really done is just that beginning section. So I'm actually liking this. I'm really liking this. It may look like dirty work, but I have the orcs for this mission. Despite an unexpected attack in the forest, we completed our task, and our plan was not discovered. Aha! But unknown, unannounced to you, your plan has been foiled, and we shall unmask you. The orcs have already left for the Sanctum of Life. They are going to burn the roots of the Tree of Life under the Sanctum. The place known as the Eternal Haven will be no more. In fact, it's probably done by now. I'd better move on, too. Wow, these guys move fast. I look tired to a board, tied to a board or something. <laughs> I actually feel fine. I don't feel bad or anything. Like, yeah, the way I sit is kind of stiff, I guess. It's just normally how I sit and whatnot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so boring. <laughs> Looks like you've managed to find out the truth. 
but it looks like it's happening already. You need to hurry to the Sanctum of Life. Alright, how to meet for a sec. Yeah, it's happening already. All the successors and patrolmen have out. hurried to the Sanctum of Life. Orcs are attacking the Sanctum. I requested help to avoid this disaster. <laughs> but things went wrong. Uh, yeah, apparently you're way too late. Huh. Obtain 200 Rose Stones available at level 1 or above. What do these do exactly? He's, he's giving me these items. Wow, I was hoping it would be some big fight that we'd like, try to rush over there, you know, and actually attack them and everything else. But, it's not the thing. I gotta... Well, my friend was looking into expanding the inventory. Apparently, is there any way... I, don't, I haven't seen any way to do it without using real-world currency. Is there, do either of you know, any of you know if you can do it without real world currency? Hey, where am I going? <laughs> do, 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 do. Stamina takes forever to recover in this game, I swear. They should make you recover fast if you're not in combat. Up. Oh. Well, they're fighting orcs. Okay, okay. The orcs well, there's a broke fight. down the barrier and invaded for reasons known only to themselves. We have built a blockade here to stop them from getting any further. But many orcs have already passed through. I'm worried about what they've done. She sounds surprisingly calm. We're being surrounded by orcs that are attacking and uh, trying to destroy the tree. <laughs> they are different from ordinary orcs, so be careful. It seems like they are following a plan from the way they destroyed the barrier. They may be part of something bigger. Maybe we can't stop them with strength alone. You know, she's got that whole, like, calm beyond calm demeanor. And it's like... You're either just that type of a person who just doesn't care about anything, just don't give a, a shit about what's going on around you, or you're part of their plot. You're a traitor. <laughs> it really seems like it. They're going to end up killing her someday. Oh, I'm trying to hit the, hit the orc. Why aren't you hitting the orc? Thank you. I gotta go into the sanctum, don't I? Where's the guy to talk to? Teleporter. Do you wish to travel to the at Yes, travel. Come on, send me. <laughs> you non-expressive robot people. Seriously, do you wish to travel to the sink? We're under attack, but I don't care. Let me swap stances. You won't let me swap stances while Kamara doesn't care or something? Yeah. I missed. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on, tail day. Swap. You're not swapping. Wow, that's strange. It won't let me swap. I have to. What's going on? I guess later then. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Bye bye. so strange. It's not letting me swap to my other stance. Now the question is, do we fail in the end if we don't, uh, kill all these? Oh, big guy. <laughs> I 
Like some of my Skyrim characters? Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> this one looks normal. Are you talking about just in general being a Korean MMO? Oh, that one actually just yeah. to come back up. All right. Beat the chain breaker. That must be him. No, he's still a trooper. This one's a chain breaker. Let's see what happens. Oh, that is not a orc. That's an ogre. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Alright, so I gotta find out where these other guys are. His Majesty was Ah, uh, okay. We don't even need to turn our horses with the arms. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> he stands there. Yeah. Oh, his buddy gets destroyed and yeah. just Buddy gets destroyed and he just stands there and just lets him be whacked. Alright. Now what does this do? Wow, a lot more orcs. <laughs> yeah, my character Sky character wouldn't. <laughs> Because, <laughs> uh, you know, arrows have that much uh, force to them when you shoot someone with it. The great protector? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go into settings real quick. Turn down the general effects. Oh, wait. She just ran off. Really? Okay. Wow, okay. I have returned to this place once more. The Great Protector is a role far beyond my ability. But I can't add to my regrets. I'll tell you more about it later. I'll deal with the orcs. Restore the barrier stone once that again. That was a fast turnaround. That's the only way for us to defeat them. Seriously? Okay, here we go. Get that taken care of as one. Bye uh, yeah. bye to you. And the last one's over here. I should take care of the big guy, huh? <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Great protector. I'm sorry I'm late. I almost had to add to my list of regrets. I'll tell you the details later. There are more urgent matters now. My uh, question is, how did all the orcs and things get down here? Obviously, they couldn't have used the teleporter dude because the teleporter dude wouldn't have done it. And I guess, again, he was complicit in the entire thing along with that robot lady. Well done. Now we have a moment to breathe. What the man called Matthias said was true. I don't know what tricks they used, but it was surely humans who stopped the barrier stone and led the orcs into the sanctum. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Perhaps they are the grandezas that Matthias mentioned. I do not want to be involved in these quarrels between human beings, but we may have no other choice. First, we must speak with this Matthias again. Ah, level five. Yes. Nothing new. Split hoof, huh? Those are health potions. Those are F1s? Ew. So, Age Tongue, I was wondering if you would know this. Is there a way to change the keybinds in this game? Because I see it's not under system settings and I didn't see keybinds here. Are you going to just like do like a direct share or something? Because uh, I'm using uh, Streamlabs chatbot right now. <clears throat> this game is uh, this is a uh, bless online. Because that was the one thing I was wondering about. Was re to key bind it and whatnot. Oh yeah, you're talking about uh, for... The timers, that's the one reason I have that one main timer is if people want to look it up, they can just type in the command real quick. Yeah, I've never, I haven't seen anything in emergency reset. I forgot what this does. I'll click it later. <laughs> like, it blows up your whole computer. I doubt that, but. Huh. Look, interface. I use sloppy keybinds for Q and E and A and S. If it's just those, then it's just like, it's not enough. <laughs> Which one says interface? That's what I'm looking for right now. I must be blind. If it's supposed to be near the top. You register your favorites by right clicking. They're selling three new DLC packs. Okay. Oh, on the on the bottom on the bottom right. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna have to go through here at some point and uh set up my key by okay, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, because I was wondering about that. I'm like, some things are just filling up. I want to set some mouse key binds and such so I can uh, be easier function, especially when I'm doing it with my uh, Zerker I'm playing. Yeah, thank you very much. Do you wish to visit the Sanctum of Life? Yep. At least you got some more emotion in you. Big ass dragon. <laughs> Alduin would feel insignificant. <laughs> this is the Hyrn protected zone. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I'm going back to the tree now. I'm out of stamina because it didn't reset it when I came out. Okay. All right, once I go inside here and I talk to this person, I'm probably going to take a five minute break or so. Then uh, I'll continue on for a little bit longer. Your word proved true. But even so, things have not changed that much. We elves don't have the strength we need to hold the Empire to account. That's why I came here. Great Protector, please help His Royal Highness Victor to ascend to the Imperial Throne. If we succeed, the Empire will not harm El Gratis. Hmm. We are not asking to borrow troops. Human affairs should be resolved with our own strength. 
All we want is support from El Gratis and the Imperial Protector Marshal. You fought for the foundation of the Empire, and now, if you take our side... You would have a justification you desire if we side with you. I've never fought for the Empire, but I know what you mean. I have something to discuss with my disciple. Please, hold on. Humans want a symbol, like the Imperial Protector Marshal of the past. The successor to the Protector Marshal would be meaningful to them. It may sound like nonsense, but it may help us. Okay, then what are we going to do? You should follow Matthias to help Crown Prince Victor. In the meantime, we'll prepare to deal with the Emperor in our own way. Ha. Uh -huh. Alrighty then. I was about to say, I was like, he looked like a human, then I saw the ears. <laughs> the successor of the Protector Marshal could help save the Empire. It will be glorious. It will symbolize the support of the Elves of El Gratis for His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince. His Royal Highness will be delighted with this news. Now, let us head to Hirakam, the capital. First, we must reveal the fact that Grandezas dared to raid the Sanctum of Life on the orders of the damned pretender Hartman. Okay. I'll prepare a wyvern for you. You probably won't get back here for some time. You should settle any business you have here before leaving. <laughs> Suddenly I'm making more friends left and right. Alright, time to go to the wyvern handler. Just gonna charge over there and uh, I'll take my break there. Alright, right over there. Alright, so around 20 after, I'll be back, so. Alright. Oh, let me stop, stop my high quality recording real quick. Restart that high quality <sighs> version and let's continue on with this and take our BRB. <laughs> Alright. Hello, successor. I've heard about you. You want to go to Hirakon. Yes, I want to go to Hirakon. Let's get going. All right. Are you ready to fly to Hirakon? Yes. Am I getting a mount? Ooh, I'm getting a mount. Love how this guy looks. I'm ready to fly. Yeah, unfortunately, they're not giving me a flying mount. Boo. May the tree of life bless the way ahead of you and all that is to come. I hope you enjoy your journey. Thank you. And I'm happy to fly the friendly skies. That is a pretty dragon. Oh, then I'll show you flying on it. Really? Come on. Oh, wait. I want to go to Hirakon. Oh, wait. I get the. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice! So you get to go to the any of the uh, allied cities and whatnot immediately. Okay. Oh, you do fly. Nice! <laughs> so, I think my character... Wait, no, okay, she does have pants on. I thought it was like a dress. So I was like, that hey, wouldn't I be side saddle? Can't zoom in and out. Watch your back achievement unlocked. Let's see. Enter the disputed territory. Okay, this is a PvP zone area. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Look at that. Floating architecture. I'm for contemporary like anybody else, but... I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> the server crashed. <laughs> oh, the whole game just crashed on itself. 
<laughs> I'm loading back in now. <laughs> I didn't know this was a Bethesda game. All the bugs were the features. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> really? And the whole quest was drawn to a halt because uh, everything just burfed on itself. So until then, let's swap it to this. It'll be showing display. There we go. I need to get some kind of background on here so that. uh. <clears throat> You can have something more than just this blackness. But that's what it is for now. That's what it will be for, I guess, the time being. Come on. Load up. Thank you very much. Excess. Yes, the game. Back to the game. Come on. Load it in here. Okay. Will this heavy drop down or what? I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> I load in and the whole thing crashes on itself again. <laughs> you don't own me, chatbot. Quit telling me what to do. <laughs> this is the higher and protected zone. So it crashed in the PvP zone. And uh, we got to the main city here. I gotta see if that's like a constant thing. Maybe I'll make a couple other level, low level characters and have them run around. Oh, that frame drop. <laughs> this is uh, going to be bad memories of Terra in the main city of Valkyum. Okay. Right around this corner it shows. Everything's still loading in. All right, while it's loading in, I'm gonna go to the interface and camera and see if I can get it to make it zoom in more on uh, my character's face. What's the camera dampening? Oh, I guess that's the smoothness. Max sight range. No, I just, that's just changing in the speed and everything else. Also, how far it lets you zoom out. That's all it lets you do. Alright. I can zoom out really decently far now. All right, I don't know exactly where I'm going, so... I am going right here. Did you get the horse? Get used to riding it. And fast. <laughs> the capital is a large place. You'll find the going easier with a steed. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure. This is Hirakan, capital of the Hobbit Empire. I wish I could give you a tour, but I'm afraid I can't. The Grandezas must be monitoring us from yeah, somewhere. Yep. <laughs> so, when I first started playing this game, I was looking at eyes was like a hobbit. Hobbit? It's like, I guess I got it right. All right. The Grandezas are an infamous assassin group led by the False Emperor. They have been busy enforcing the rule of the Emperor with blade and blood. Though the Emperor denies their existence, of course. Of course they do. They don't exist. Ignore it. Everyone knows I am loyal to no one but Crown Prince Victor. Now that there is a rumor spreading that the Crown Prince has returned, Hartman will naturally have concerns about me. Yep. First of all, we must prove the Emperor has been instructing the Grandezas from the shadows. This will cause the nobles to turn against the Emperor. It means we're one step closer to our crown prince regaining his throne. All right. I'm going to gander a guess on this game that Yeah, he is quite beefy, isn't he? <laughs> that um the factions all converge on this main storyline, then the other side gets thrown off because they choose to side with the uh, false prince or whatever else and we are the ones with the uh, main prince the good guys so to speak for it but we'll see how this, as this progresses 
If the Crown Prince regains his throne, the threat the Empire poses to you elves will come to an end. So I want you to do me a favor. But that also does mean some of the elves defect, obviously, with them as well. So the whole area splits up. Just deliver a letter to two people. Both have tried to restore the Crown Prince Victor. One is Leone, Princess of the Empire, and the other is Severus, the former Prime Minister. Princess Leone usually goes to church to pray around this time. Severus will be in his mansion in the Noble District. I can't do it myself because so many people will recognize me. I need your help. Yep, yep. Helping is helping. Or C. Ah, not what I wanted you to do. All right. Interface. Key bindings. Oh, is this an auto key for cast mount? Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, where are the uh, primary buttons? The F1s that I don't want. Can I use, let's see, shift one. Yay, there we go. Please select a valid target. As I accidentally use a potion. They didn't set that up. All right, shift two. Please select a valid target. I didn't save it. Really? Shift five. Why? There we go. Oh, okay. You have to acquire the mount first, huh? Yeah, I'm Clay. <laughs> From uh, G Tribe. Come on. How do I select my mountain and ride it now? Oh wait. Open the companion window with the L key. It'd help if I read things on the left. That says L, yeah, it's just slow. You can only put it down there. Alright. Here we go. Um, this is the wrong way, isn't it? But I can't giddy up and go faster? Aw. I want to run faster. Rip guild's territory. And poof, a horse appears. <laughs> exactly. Isn't that how it normally is? Just poof, they appear. Oh, poof, it disappeared. <laughs> I run out of stamina conveniently getting into the main chapel area. Wherever you go, may Providence be with you. Hmm. You are new to me. I'm Leonie Adler. Do you have something to say to me? She looks like she needs to uh, go to bed. She's just like the uh, elven lady. You look at those eyes. She looks just tired as hell. <laughs> Seriously, he's like, come on. Matthias? Matthias? He... He has returned to the islands? Where is he now? I can't believe he is just staying at his home peacefully. He doesn't have any idea that... That the Emperor has waited for this. Alright. Tell him I'll look into the Grandezas, as he said. Mm. Matthias. He has returned after all. Though he is not welcome in this city anymore. Of course not. Hence why he's uh moving around like a <laughs> <the> creeper. <laughs> oh look, there's an actual other person.
Poof. Giddy up my horse. Huzzah. Is this guy inside somewhere? Aha, yes he is. I just gotta look for the open door. Hello. Did you come here to see my master? Master, uh, Lord Severus is not here now. Yeah, well, where did Snape go? Tell me. I'm also curious. I've helped out with odd jobs at my master's home every day, but he hasn't been here for a few days. Really? It's very convenient that you don't know where he is. You're supposed to be his disciple. I'm sorry I cannot help you. If you hear any news of my master, please tell me. <laughs> sure. Now back to Matthias. Where do you go? Why do you go over there? All right, you. You're a horsey, right? You follow the path. <laughs> I don't have to do anything this time. The pathing in this game is so weird. When you do it in like Black Desert for this, the button and whatnot, your character just like bolts across the fastest way possible. It does sometimes get stuck, I think, but this game is just kind of like all right corners and things like that. Hey, look, it's an assassin! That's actually one thing I was wondering about. I'm guessing there aren't many elves that should be here inside the city and whatnot. Yeah, here's an elf here wandering around talking to random strangers. You'd think that would draw suspicion in itself. It seems that the Grandezas are after me in earnest. I'm still an Imperial Knight. How dare they think they could attack me? I'm worried that Severus might have already encountered them. Dangerous? <laughs> Hardly. These little worms are just irritating. But, well, we don't want to attract any undue attention. We should hide somewhere suitable. Yeah. How come I have a feeling it's going to lead to the sewers? Well, it's been a long time since I left Hiracon. All of my friends already left to avoid Hartman. I'll stay in an inn for now. Let's meet there later. <laughs> we need to find some place to hide and uh, be not conspicuous or anything like that. Let's go to an inn. Um, this is now the protected zone. Are we already at an inn? Ice arrow skill. Oh. How do I set this to chain that way? That's what I'd like to know. Unless it's just that means it's level two. Okay. Thank you, the book cover. Thank you very much for uh, rating my channel. Hey, Shursi. How are you doing? Did I say your name right? Book raid. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, non-chain skills. I already got that one. That was supposed to have been set up, but... Be back this up. Thank you very, very much. Still, growth was updated or skills equipped. Do you want to close without saving? No. Oh, okay. So that one wasn't there. My tilde still does not appear to be working properly to swap around. Ugh. <coughs> Definitely has problems. Hey, Frozen Phoenix. Get on over here. Supposed to meet him at the end. He was just inside that building there. This is this game is some weird ways with this continuity and things. You would think it would show him like run out of the building. I'm just gonna follow this because 
those right corners. <laughs> hey, thanks. Thank you very much, book cover, for the follow. Everything's going all right so far. Just trying now to uh, bless and seeing how this game overall is before making uh, my own little review of it in uh, the next week or so. <laughs> Inside the end. Um, did my game crash or is it CG cinematic? Okay, cinematic. <laughs> Wait here for a minute. Hopefully no more crashes other than when I was flying over. She sounded so bored. Wait here for a minute. Okay, sure. We have a guest. Oh, hello. <laughs> Frozen Phoenix, thank you very much for the follow. Dude, you were just dressed where we were at. Seems we have company who will help us. Uh, do you? <laughs> yeah, naked dude inside of bed. Hey, Jello. How's it going? <laughs> I have beefcakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he might not be a beefy kitty, but he, he's pretty beefy. <laughs> mm, well... I don't know how she knew. Princess <laughs> Leone came to see me. I found out where Severus is, thanks to her. It looks like he's been captured by Hartman. I don't know she knew, but Princess Leone came to see me. You had me, I literally had me go talk to her. And you don't know that she would know where you would possibly be? Especially since you're hiding out in an inn. It's not really conspicuous, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Steve, for the follow. According to Leone, Severus knows the weaknesses of the False Emperor. I <laughs> think it is the clue that we seek. His involvement with the Grandezas. He'll be yes. We must rescue Severus before more harm comes to him. Yes, we must. Where is he now? You didn't tell me that part. Well, unfortunately, he is locked in the prison of the Imperial Palace. <laughs> A frontal so. assault seems impossible. We need to find another <laughs> way. I have an idea. Wait for me. Oh, man, really? You actually were able to clip that out. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Right. It will take some time to finish the preparations. Why don't you go explore the islands in the meantime? Never be still. <laughs> Shall become uh, the heartthrob of all of Twitch. <laughs> all right, so now I gotta go break this dude out of prison. Right. You are now using this tactic. I didn't mean to use a tactic. You know, it'd be nice if my tilt day would work to my uh, other skills. You know what? Let me double check. Let's see if for some odd reason it took it off. Oh, it doesn't have it. Oh, okay. I now I understand why I did. After the tutorial, it actually uh, took it off. But now I should be able to switch between the two. It didn't happen on my Zerker, but this character it did. That is—is is that dude on a goat? <laughs> Okay, then. Oh, whatever floats your goat? <laughs> sure. Yeah, you have babes, but you also want beefcakes like in my game. All right. I'll download Bless and you can uh, get your own saved character or uh, saved uh, high quality from OBS or something. So you can have your beefcakes to share whenever on your screen or on your stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm going back here. Alright, sure. Suddenly I have a lot of, like, side quest things. This is your... Sure, you were to go to the shops and whatnot. Alright. It's cool that they have that. This dude, he, like, teleports all over. Alright, then. Shall we begin? Here. Take this first. What am I taking first? 
It's a uniform of an Imperial Palace Guard that Leone gave me. Okay, cool. It will be an effective means of disguise. Sure. Good. Then we'll meet again at the entrance to the prison. I'll covertly follow behind you, so go ahead. Like a ninja. You know, Imperial Palace Guard uniform. You should actually give me uh, something about, like a helmet or whatnot to cover these said ears. It kind of is a dead giveaway. Severus is in the dungeon. Guild territory. All right. Don't get that close to them, cause. You know, they'll spot your ears. <laughs> I am like awesome like that. I can uh more agile than any ninja. <laughs> okay. I guess you gotta get that close for them to be able to see with those tiny slits in their eyes. Wait, I was like, which side am I going? All right, <clears throat> up, down, down, down the stairs we go this into the, the dungeon. Cinematic. Um, not very inconspicuous, dude, but okay. Oh no, I got spotted too. Free chain finisher. All right. You can't use that. Nope, wrong ability. All right, you're gone. I thought that was shining. Severus, there we go. Um. Where are we going, dude? <laughs> Pay silent tribute. <laughs> bye bye. Lord Severus, please wake up. It's no good. Hey, get the key from the keyboard. Gee, who would have thought that? Maybe I should have picked it up when I first went over here. Is Severus dead? Or is he just really, really calm? You got the key. Excellent. Hurry. Let's open the door and rescue Severus. Mm-hmm. And I... You got the key. Excellent. Oh. I hope if I looked at the screen and paid attention to what it was telling me. <laughs> you know, like hitting G. Severus. Matthias? Thank you, Physis. Thank you. The Emperor is plotting a terrible scheme. Go has the evidence. What do you mean? I'll tell you the details on the way. We need to go to Ostium and meet Gora first. You're not meeting with anybody. Uh-oh. Uh, Severus. <laughs> Boss <Leone>? fight? <clears throat> you fell into this trap so easily, Matthias. Hmm, I'm starting to like the <laughs> roguelike abilities Take that they can away. blink like that. Leone! Oh, 
Oh, really? I missed uh, both of those? Oh, horrible. Aw, oh, I still don't have a cooldown for that. Let me try some of these. <laughs> I blew up the last guy too that was right next to him. Oh, that was awesome. Leone, she is the leader of the Grand Desert. She has trapped me and killed Severus. What is going on? I don't understand how this could happen. Um, easy. She works for the fake emperor, as you say it, and she's chosen sides. Oh, yes. We must meet Gore first, as Severus said. Supposedly, he has evidence of the relationship between the Pretender Emperor and the Grand Desus. Gore, the tutor of the Crown Prince, is currently working as a professor at Ostium University. All right, where is Ostium University then? For now. Our main concern is escaping from the islands without getting noticed by the Grand Desus. I think we should move separately. I'll go first. Meet me in Ostium. I'll see you later. Sure. You can now perform the mission. Ah. Awesome, I can now perform this the mission. Is the Iron Protected Zone. Like Joshi just got out too. A new wand. That's a wand? <laughs> That's a big ass wand. Seriously. Yeah, that gave me health too. How oh, nice. Give me a bunch of everything. <sighs> okay. I guess I'm flying again. This is the Iron Protected Zone. It's like the dude disappeared once I mounted up, and it's like you can't uh, do it. Oh no, he just—that's odd. Limits your distance. Do you want to go to Ostium? Yes, Tell I will go. I will bring you. To I will go now. Where's Ostium? Down here. Okay. Once I land, I, uh, let's see what time is it. Yeah, I got about 10 minutes or so, then I'll be, uh, calling it. We'll see how long this takes. Let's see if we crash again. Let's see if this crashes again on its way, and we have, like, floaty buildings and things like that. That was, uh, so much fun before. <laughs> You've entered a protected zone. This is the Iron Protected Zone. Okay. Am I gonna go through PvP zones again? Probably not. Okay, I'm already at Ostium. This wasn't that far away compared to before. <clears throat> okay. And he's already here, of course. Because he's just fast like that. He's a very fast beefy cake. <laughs> so the name. is the leader of the Grand Desas? From now on. Oh, God. If the demise of House Lauren was due to the purge of the Grand Desas, then it's no surprise that she considers us her enemies. But she has been deceiving us all this time. I can't believe she fooled me. Our new companion is in danger because I put too much faith in her. They aren't someone who would go down without a fight. But I dearly hope that they're safe. Ha <laughs> ha, speak of the devil. Yeah. I'm so relieved to see you safe. Say hello to Hans, my old friend and the Crown Prince's right-hand man. He rushed here all the way from Carter University to help us. Cool. I have no clue where Carter University is, but okay. Are you the new companion Matthias has been talking about? You nope. don't look so very reliable. <laughs> anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Hans. Currently, I serve as a messenger who spreads the word of the Crown Prince's return to all parts of the world. Okay. Awesome. You're a messenger boy. Oh, Crown Prince's messenger to say over under his name. So there you go. Anyway, Matthias, 
You'd better go underground for the time being, like I told you. If you don't want to repeat the same mistake, you need to move more covertly. Our aim is to find the Grandezas, not to drive them away. Of course. Every single Grandeza knows about me. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I can leave everything to you, Hans. The Grandezas are the shadows in the darkness. You don't know when or where they'll appear. <laughs> they all know about you, Matthias. They see you coming a mile away. Go hide out somewhere and let one of us go after him instead. Are you still treating me like a child, Matthias? But if you're that concerned, I'll let this one accompany me as you wish. <laughs> I wonder just how talented you are that Matthias trusts you this much. Yep. Well, Tanara has even said that our friend here is her most favored disciple. When our crown prince finally reclaims his throne, I can only hope that our friend shall become a protector marshal like Tanara in the new empire. In that case, I should try to get on your good side, huh? For now, let's work together <laughs> to uncover who's behind the Grandezas. And since we're about the same age, let's drop the formalities, too. I look forward to working with you. <laughs> I'm just thinking on this. It's like, you want me to become a protector of you? I'm already set to go guard that tree back there. But, uh, so, uh, I'm sorry. You're kind of SOL. I gotta put out fires all over the place in there. But maybe if we do this, maybe all the fires will stop. And, wow, I'm... Hopefully we'll be able to just uh, do whatever, but I guess we'll see as the story progresses. Then, Matthias, you should go and find a drinking spot. <laughs> That's what men who are stabbed in the back and dumped by women normally do. <laughs> as for us, we should go see Master Goar, as Severus said in his message. <laughs> Not only they want you to lay low, he's telling you to go drink. All right, sounds like a plan. Who knows? As you've seen for yourself, Carta University is a huge place. The situation is grave, and we must find my teacher as quickly as possible. I'll search the classrooms, so you go check out the lab. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, whoever finds Master Gore should immediately return here with him. The Grandezas might already be after his life. Not that they will find him an easy mark. Alrighty then. This is uh, where I'm going to be calling it for the time being. Thank you uh, so much for joining in, in the channel and all the shenanigans, and uh, definitely for all the follows. And... If you're already following, of course, thanks for supporting the channel, and I'm going to try and uh, stream tomorrow morning. I should be on perfectly fine. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, we put up the high quality in just a little bit as well over at YouTube. So if you want to see some things over there, you want to catch uh, previous streams and whatnot, that's where they are just on uh, YouTube. And I'll be putting up a uh, review of this game, and like I said earlier before, in like a week's time. Hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you all later. Bye.